Okay, I feel like I have to go back and watch yes. Pet Cemetery now. <laughs> I didn't know that nugget of information. I didn't right? surprised. either. So cool. Yeah. Weather, a little cool That's today. That's for sure. We were just saying you were at the Dempsey Challenge on yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Uh, a little cool for the spectators, but probably good for the yes, people the participating. participants kept saying, sure. oh, we've been here when it's been 85, when, when it's cold and rainy, and they were like, this is yeah. right yeah. where we needed to be Saturday. Yeah, if we you like lucky. exercising outdoors, this is probably this is our season. your kind of weather. That's for sure. Uh, one other thing today, I wanted to mention, the ocean is still really churned up after that storm that was offshore all weekend, and it's still well offshore now. But we have some nine-footers coming in on the coast in southern Maine, and this is some video from just about an hour ago at Wells Beach. You can see the waves crashing right up here onto the seawall. Definitely some erosion in spots, and we've had a couple of high tide cycles uh, with some inundation and very minor flooding in parts of southern Maine. We also have a breeze that's still coming in off the ocean, so 58 right now in Portland, 59 in Rockland, low 60s inland, pretty comfortable night there, but we do have a lot of clouds that are still in place at this point. No rain locally, a couple of showers trying to get into parts of northern New Hampshire sure, but any of those should dry up before they make it here. There's that ocean storm offshore. Another system off to the west. It's not all that impressive, but it will drag some moisture into it and bring us some rain for the middle of the week, especially Thursday. That looks like the wettest day in the forecast. So hour by hour for tonight, a lot of these clouds will linger for a little while, but we should see some clearing by tomorrow morning. Temperatures will start tomorrow morning for most of us in the 40s. Warming up fairly quickly, though, by 9 o'clock, we're already approaching 60 in some spots with lots of sunshine. There will be some fair weather clouds that pop up during the middle of the day tomorrow, so we'll call it a mix of sunshine and clouds. And again, a wind that does come in off the ocean tomorrow, so your warmest weather will end up being inland tomorrow. High temperatures a little bit warmer than today, getting into the mid-60s. We may get into the mid-60s on parts of the coast too, and then drop a little bit by three or four in the afternoon once the breeze kicks up. Tomorrow night, we are in fine shape. Some clouds start coming in, and Wednesday morning, there could be a little sun, but I think a lot of clouds through the day on Wednesday with a chance for showers, especially in western Maine by about lunchtime, and then some of those showers will travel east during the afternoon. Not a lot of rain on Wednesday, but you'll have to be ready for a shower or two. The wettest day in the forecast is Thursday, though. Looks like we may get showers and perhaps even a few downpours that come through on Thursday. This is the first chance in quite a while for a significant statewide rain, and we may have some places on Thursday that pick up over an inch. We need the rain and it's good that we're getting it during the middle of the week. We'll get it out of here for the weekend. There is a tropical system that's being watched now over the Caribbean, not named yet, but it's forecast to become Helene and then come into the Gulf of Mexico and strengthen. Right now the Hurricane Center has this making landfall Thursday evening somewhere on the Florida coast, a spot that's been hit by hurricanes in the past couple of years, including I believe Beryl this year. So we'll follow updates on that between now and then. Small craft advisory continues for tomorrow. Seas will be running four to six feet and it'll be a little gusty out on the water. So overall, a pretty good looking day tomorrow. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds, temperatures in the 60s, more clouds on Wednesday with a chance for showers in the afternoon. Not widespread rain on Wednesday, but Thursday does look wet. We could get about an inch of needed rain. And right now, if all goes well, the weekend should be dry and fairly pleasant. Good so. turnaround. Hopefully yeah. it works out that Great way. Great timing. Yes, and yeah. I'll tell you, seeing the radar for Thursday with that large of a potential for rain seems bizarre. It's been a while. We haven't seen it in a month. Yeah, yeah. all right, yeah. we'll be ready for it. Ryan, you bet. Thank you.